Um, I've been writing Alice and Megan books since 2005. Um, I've really enjoyed the characters, they're like my friends, which I know sounds really sad. Um, and luckily they've been very popular and people ask me to keep on writing more, but sometimes you have to take a break and leave your best friends behind. So um, last year I decided I was going to be very brave and invent a new character and I called her Eva and I set up her whole relationships and her family and her friends and finally it turned into my most recent book which is called Eva's Journey. Uh, I like Eva, she's a different character, she's very different to Alice or Megan, um, she's a whole different life um, and I'm really hoping the people who like Alice and Megan would like to read about her. Um, I set Eva's journey very much in the present. Eva was a very pampered little girl, well not a little girl, she's 12. Um, she's very pampered and spoiled and has only known um, a very easy lifestyle. And um, as has happened to so many other people, her dad lost his job and his, her mum lost her job and suddenly the, the lifestyle that we used to had, had to change very rapidly. And Eva had to come to terms with all these changes in her life. And um, I thought something guys would identify with because if they're lucky enough that it hasn't happened to them, they will surely know somebody who has lived through this. And um, I wanted people to see that there might be a way through this and that it is possible to live without all the, the trappings that we, were, we had got used to over the past number of years. Okay, this is a section from um, Eva's journey. Um, Eva has had to change schools and she's really not very happy about it, but she has decided to try and make the best of it and help other people maybe and feeling that that might help herself in the end and in this section she's realized that one of the girls she feels that one of the girls is really being bullied by their teacher and she feels she can't just stand by and let that happen so she follows this girl after school and talks to her it's about the teacher mr gowing i said a small smile came over petronella's face i wondered why she was smiling what about mr gowing she asked I spoke in a rush. He treats you differently to everyone else, I said. He gives you a hard time over stuff he lets the other kids away with. It's not fair. You should go ahead and do what you threatened. You should tell your mother. She shrugged, still with that funny half-smile on her face. I did tell my mum once, but she only laughed. She says it's exactly what I deserve. I was so surprised that at first I couldn't speak. What kind of mother would laugh when she hears that her daughter has been bullied by a teacher? Petronella, this is very serious, I said. Something will have to be done. She still had that strange smile on her face. It was starting to make me very nervous. Maybe all this bullying had made her go slightly crazy. Thanks for your concern, she said, but if I don't na go now, I'm going to be late for hockey practice. I'll arrange a meeting between my mum and uh, Mr. Gowing, OK? I nodded. I suppose that's a start, but you need a definite plan. Where and when do you think this meeting can happen? She grinned. Oh, I suppose I could meet her on the kitchen table at my place, probably about six o'clock this evening. What was she on about? Maybe this girl truly was crazy, and I shouldn't have got involved. Suddenly she gave me a big hug. I backed away. If this girl was crazy, I totally didn't like being hugged by her. And I totally, totally didn't like being hugged by her in a public place. Thanks, Eva, she said. Thanks for being worried about me. But you see, Mr. Gowing is my dad. Mr. Gowing is your dad, I repeated stupidly. She nodded. I'm afraid so. He's not bullying me when he says that stuff in class. He's just having a laugh. I know it's stupid, but he thinks it's, it's kind of funny. So all the kids were laughing because they were in on the joke. She nodded. And Mr. Gowing wasn't being a bully. He was just being a normal dad. Totally embarrassing. She nodded again. I slapped my forehead. You must think I'm an idiot. She smiled. No, you're not. And it was, was very nice of you to stay and help me. But now I've got to go. I'll see you tomorrow and maybe you can come and sit next to me and my friends. Do you think Mr. Gowing would let me change places? She laughed. I think I might be able to sort that one out. Oh, and one more thing she said. Call me Ella. Everyone does except for my dad. And he only uses my full name because he knows it annoys me. She gave me another hug and then she ran on to catch up with her friends. And I walked slowly home.